Hey, so I've got two weeks worth of packages, and one of them, believe it or not, is from CGC. Which is why I'm here. Yay, and why Yay. I'm wearing the shirts, which have, have last time really didn't give me great luck, but it wasn't bad altogether. But if you want to see what I picked over the, up over the last two weeks and spend a little time with me and the missus, yeah, stick around. Welcome back, family. Thank you so much for joining. As I said in the last video that I made, which was New Comic Book Day, um, I already had this shirt on because I was recording this the same night. And thank you guys for sticking around and sticking with the channel. I, I lost one subscriber not making a video for two weeks, but that's actually not too bad. But I we're lost you know, a subscriber. I lost a subscriber. Come back! Oh, that's sad. But I did pick up a few books here, and I've been actually stacking the comic books up. And don't worry, you're not going to have to watch me open up all the boxes. I've got them already open. The only one that I have not seen, because I don't know, is the CGC unboxing, which I'll describe in a little bit. But first and foremost, before anything else, I want to talk about the books that I picked up from a buddy Shane and, and Dustin's auction from Battlegrounds in uh, Dalton, Georgia. And uh, there's a little miscommunication there. I told my I, I drove up there and pick them up, and they shipped them. So I got there like 15 minutes after they dropped them off at the movie at the post office, <laughs> which did not upset the missus too much because she got to walk around this uh, battlegrounds. Time has, out. I didn't know we just missed them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they were like 15 minutes. They had just dropped them off at the post office. So if if we had left. 15 minutes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's okay. Well, Ooh. then, but then again, if we didn't, if we got that, then we wouldn't be making this video now. But, I mean, I didn't spend that much, but the wonderful thing was that I told my wife that she could spend on toys, because that's what she likes, the equivalent of what I spent on the auction. And she went, really? How much did you spend? And I said, $50. And she went, that's it. <laughs> she was actually disappointed that I spent money, that I didn't spend enough money on comics. That's not true. That's right. I actually said sixty because I forgot the the shipping cost. <laughs> so anyway, what did I pick up? I picked up a reader copy. It's granted, it's a reader copy, but I never read it of the of the wedding uh, issue, the giant size uh, Amazing Spider Man number twenty one from nineteen eighty seven. He got married. Yeah, it's Mary Jane Watson. Sorry, I don't really know about comics. Yeah. You can read it too, okay? I'll charge you two fifty. That way, I get half my money back. Huh? This, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Don't. I thought you were gonna say, "Don't quit your day job." <laughs> so this is. Yeah. And through random uh, things that they had up there, they had a few buy it nows and a couple of auction items. I love the format that they're doing their auction now. They also have a, a five dollar grab bag box which I'll get to at the end, which was really, really funny. So uh, I picked up three McFarlane Spider-Mans. Here you go. <laughs> Number 305. And you can see I paid $5 for it. Number 314, which I paid $4 for. <laughs> and number 323, which has cap on it, and I paid $6 for it. Um, there was another one that I picked up. It was a ten cent action comics. You can't go wrong. I, I yes, it's got a detached cover. I don't care. Okay. The the uh, two forty what number is that? Two seventy five action comics. So you think about it, they were up to number two hundred and seventy five and still only ten cents. But for ten bucks, a ten cent action comics, you're not going wrong. Okay, that's just something that you just look at and go, cool. And for ten bucks, I'll take cool all day long. This one is uh -huh. in. Not hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. So, again, this one is about a... They call it about a 6.0. I might give this a 7. We'll have to see how it uh, really shapes up. It's an Incredible Hulk number 112, I think. No, 110. Where do you see that? Oh, right, right there. there. Yep. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this was 1968. So, it's the same age as me. And it looks better than I do. So, hey. <laughs> you look good. Aww. 
she's so nice. Can you believe it? And then I took two of the $5 grab bag, and I watched on the screen as Shane did this, okay? He reached for the front of the box. He reached to the back of the box, and he pulled out two books simultaneously and pulled out two copies of exactly the same book. <laughs> Both. Fantastic Four number 199s in really, really nice shape, man. I love the condition of these books. And they're the Whitman versions, the Whitman variants of it. If you think about it, they had variants way back then, you know? And it's got Fantastic Four on the cover. It's got the son of Doctor Doom. Okay. But, and they asked me right there during the auction, do I want to put one of the books back? And he'll pull a different book for me. Not a chance. Not a chance. Even though they had better books in the grab bag, the fact that they pulled out... I'm sorry, honey, I'm doing this one. Yeah, that's fine. Two identical books from the front and the back of the comic book. It was just too funny. I wanted to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shane, if you're watching this, yeah, I'm glad I didn't have you put it back. I love it. This is like... This is this is PC for me now, you know? Personal collection. Not politically correct. This channel will not be politically correct. Okay, so what other things did I pick up over the last few weeks? So I picked up two CGC slabs. One has got a really cool story to it. Um, sometimes you see those auctions that are about to end, and I really advise people to tune in to when you see auctions ending. Uh, watch ending soonest, and just keep an eye on it, especially if you're on the East Coast. And it's early in the morning. Because people that have a book that's ending at 7 o'clock in the morning, that's 4 o'clock in the morning on the West Coast. Generally, you're not going to... That's that many less people bidding on the books. Okay? So, you're going to look at this one and go, what's the big deal? So, we have a Cloak & Dagger, number one, CBCS, 9.4, in off-white to white pages. Uh, and everybody's like, okay, what's the big deal? It was 12 bucks. I can't get it graded for that price. <laughs> $12, I got this. And the guy sent me a letter with it. Enjoy. I'm pl I plan on it. I really do. Cloak & Dagger, number one, the limited series from 1983. So we're coming up on 40 years old on this thing. Oh, boy. In a nine point oh shush. 40 years old. 40 years, yes. Wait, wait, could I have that? Sure, you you, you, you make... guys might have seen me chuckling just now. That's because... <laughs> that's because I thought this was a comic book. <laughs> she thought the version of the like, Oh, look, they made a comic book for from from the Nintendo oh, yeah, game. I had it face down so I could pick it straight up. She, didn't, she thought it was a burger time book. So this, this cool. is the actual comic book. I thought this was a comic book. <laughs> That's what I was chuckling about. Oh, God. As I said, I know nothing about comic books. I love it. I love it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> you want to talk about the Star Wars book? I don't remember. The Star, the Star Wars book that we were talking oh, about. Oh, yes, yes. So, just a little flashback. Last year, I'm at uh, Huntsville Show. And Huntsville, Alabama. No, Huntsville, Alaska. There could be other Huntsvilles. Yeah, that's Huntsville. true. Georgia steals the, the, the names of everything. <laughs> we have Rome, <laughs> and there is no Leaning Tower of Pisa. Anyway, no, there's no Coliseum. Anyway, I digress. We're at the show in Huntsville, Alabama, talking to my buddy Shane, actually, about uh, the fact that I picked up a Clone Wars. Where are you? You're over here. Clone Wars number one, which I already got graded. As a 9.4, and he and remember last the summer of 2020, Clone Wars was just amazingly hot because of Ahsoka, which it peaked again in Mandalorian and will come again. And he was dying for a copy, and I had just dropped off a copy at the CBCS grading, which I've got it as a 9.4 white page, unpressed by the way. And he asked me, "How much did you pay for it?" And I said 397. To which she goes. You spent $400 on a comic book? <laughs> and I thought right there, uh, like, okay, I can feel the, the hands around my throat. You know? <laughs> to which my buddy Shane's like, go get it back out of CBCS. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you double for that right now. He was mad at me that I got it for under $400. To which then my wife then goes, well, okay, maybe he knows what he's doing a little, but I'll kill him later. Which she didn't. I love her. She didn't. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. 
Well, just remember, though, this is last year was when we when you first started getting back into this whole thing. Right. So, was it three nights ago? Four nights ago? Yes. I'm mm-hmm. watching an auction. It was the weekend, I think. I'm watching an auction ending on eBay. With, you know, like I watch ending soonest. And it's an auction ending within five minutes. It is a CGC 9.8 Star Wars number one autographed by, you know, signature series, autographed by Hamill, Fisher, Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker, Peter Mayhew, and there was one other person. Was it Harrison Ford? There were six signatures on it. No, it couldn't have been. Because I remember saying that five of the six were passed away. And the it had no bids at $10,000. And her first reaction was, that's it? Hmm. Then we're starting to wonder, how much money do we have in the bank account? Can we swing this? <laughs> we were de- debating at least for 15 minutes. And it wound up selling. Actually, there were bids, and it wound up selling for $11,147, which I still consider to be a bargain, considering the names that are on there that you just can't get anymore. Yes. And I said, honey, you do realize that a year ago, you wanted to kill me for spending 400 on a comic, but you were legitimately thinking about spending 10000 right now. And they were both Star Wars comics. That's the funny part. Clone Wars is a Star Wars comic. <laughs> but she, you know, my wife is understanding the value of this. And if we had gotten that book, honestly, that would be mounted on the wall behind UV protective glass in a frame that would be befitting the Declaration of Independence. It would be amazing. That would be something that I would point out to any person who visited my house. And that would be amazing to me. I, uh, that would be a grail to me. I would trade well, most of every book that I had to have that. At that moment, when you told me about the eBay auction, that's when the light bulb went off about how valuable these things could be. But it's it's, it's expensive paper, but it still it touches our hearts, you know. But again, I was proud of us because we were responsible. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm disappointed that we didn't go. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> anyway, the other book that I picked up this week or two weeks ago, within the last two weeks, was. Thor number five, 9.8. Now, the reason I got this, okay, I got a copy back when it was hot, and I got it graded, 9.8, and I sold it when it was hot. So I bought it for 40. I sold, I traded it, actually, for approximately $150 in equal value. And then, of course, everything plummeted, and then Kate's announced, I'm not done with it yet. And then it spiked again. But now it's coming back down. And in the flavor of Remember Me, this is a good time to pick this up because it's falling off of everybody's radar again. And I got this for $56. Which, again, that's practically the cost of grading with shipping these days. So, if Kate's is correct, this book will find its resurgence again soon in the future. And this will become another book that I can flip again to try to increase the ability to get to those grails like that $10,000 Star Wars book. $10,000. 10. No, we have to do it with a pinky. $10,000. So, <laughs> so I did pick up some raw books and let's go through them one by one. one the last one, I'm sure she's going to forget that we even bought it. <laughs> Probably. Yep, of course. Well, we do have a copy of Predator number one. And there it is. It is the Dark Horse version. And um, it looked real nice on the screen, and I'm going to say that I can clean and press this and probably get about a 9.4 out of that. And judging from what I paid for it, I'm more than happy on that. <laughs> I have a question. Which came out first, the movie or the, or the comic book? Ooh, I believe that the movie came out first, and this came out about the same time as Predator number 2. What year is that? 87, I'm thinking. No, 89. Says, thank, thank you, Dark Horse, for putting it on the bottom. 1989. Did you ever see the movie? Nope. You never saw the first Predator? Nope. With Arnold Schwarzenegger? Nope. Get to the chopper! <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll try to get her to watch that. So, next up, we've got two copies of the same book. One I got off of Mercari, one I got off of eBay, both for great prices. And even though this is like the season of Venom, 
there is a certain character that I think is still underappreciated that I think can definitely explode at, at any given point. And that is Lady Venom. Sinner takes all. Venom, the Bride of Venom, Sinner takes all. Number three, first appearance of Lady Venom. She's like super hot, hot until you get to the face and you realize, oh man, she's going to give me a blowjob and rip off my... <laughs> but both in beautiful, beautiful condition. I mean, I looked at these already and I am super stoked. These are both going for submissions. I love them what, both. What year? Oh, help me out, people. What year was it? I'm sure you're screaming at the screen. Guess what? I recorded this already. I don't know. I'm thinking 2012, maybe? Well, so it's okay. It's a relatively new book, yes. And then this one's going to make no sense to her because this was a bonus book, but it might spark her memory to what the actual book is. So we have a ten cent. Oh, I like it. I know. Oh. It? This was a bonus book that was thrown in for free, and it's really, really cute. It's a Woody Woodpecker ten cent book from Dell Comics. In absolutely horrible condition, but I don't care because how often do you get to get ten cent books? I, don't know. I like I like Woody Woodpecker though. See, this is the stuff I'm into. Yeah, like cartoons like Woody Woodpecker, Disney. I mean, yes, of course. Wouldn't we all love to have nine point eights? But do we care when that was the reaction? I mean, come on, that's why we're in this, guys. You gotta love it. Give me the book. <laughs> Flip over the last one. What's this one? That's that one. Oh yes, I <laughs> forgot about this. It was a third printing, 1948, yes. Bambi. And I saw this, and I didn't even ask for permission. I just bought it. I totally forgot about that. And if I'm not mistaken, what did I pay? Ten bucks, twelve bucks? Yeah. Uh huh. And they threw in a ten cent Woody Woodpecker for free. So that those two books are up my alley. Yep, and it's it's just gorgeous. A ten cent Dell. Walt Disney's Bambi from the 40s. And look how, look how, look how awesome that is. There's certain colors, certain palettes that they use in the 40s and 50s. You can see it in the cars and you can see it in the printing. And condition, it, it just goes out the window at this point. Mm, my I, hood fell off. Your oh. hood? Yeah. What hood? This hood. Oh. <gasps> oh, dun, dun, dun. Guess what? She has ears. <laughs> <laughs> So have you actually stuck around with us this long? Because we're about to get to the CGC book, which... Oh, yes. Okay, so what is the CGC book? It is not any of the three submissions that were received on February the 8th. Okay? One Sorry, of them... Sorry, could I interrupt? Sure. Sorry. We got to see how good these these look together. See? Look. Look at those... Look. I, I mean, those colors just pop. Yeah. And, and it's like, it's not, it's like nice and simple. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry. I'm loving that she's liking this. You know that, you know that guys, right? So. I'm getting warmed up to this whole thing. It's expensive paper. That's what everybody calls it. Oh. So I've got three submissions that were received on February the 8th. One has been, two have been in, in receiving since then. And one has been scheduled for grading for six weeks and it hasn't happened. But I did send in a submission back in the end of April, which was for a signing. And it came back t yesterday. The guy left a note on the side door instead of going to the front door, which the doorbell actually works. <laughs> so if you're trying to rob my house, don't ring the side door. It doesn't work. So, <laughs> so there's the book box. My wife has already opened it, put the tape on it. I have been struggling not to look at the website because I, I, I know what the book is. It is Something is Killing the Children. Number one, the Lee variant, which is actually right here. I already have a 9.8. And I sent, sent it in for signing by Tinian and grading. Now, to be perfectly honest, I could not find a flaw with this book. It was gorgeous. I sent it in a Gemini mailer inside a bubble wrap, inside another bubble wrap, inside a box with peanuts. There was no way this book could get damaged in shipping. As long as they didn't Unless damage... Unless the crane fell on it. True. That's very specifically weird, but okay. 
Um, you didn't say an item fell on it. You said a crane. But yeah. anyway. So. Well, what's heavier than a uh, crane? She, she actually put the blue tape on the back. Yes, I, I learned from last time. <laughs> oh, God. Are we ready? Yeah. So here is my book signed by James Tinian. Something is killing the children, number one. And this was, like I said, I was going through my books to find out what I was going to send in for writing, and I forgot I had this. It was still raw. So I sent it in, and I I could not find anything wrong with it. I pressed it. I made sure it was clean. I, I did everything possible. Please tell me they didn't mess it up. Please tell me the grade. I'm afraid to look. Okay, I'll show them. You show me. You show them. I, I, I don't want to know. I don't know what he's expecting. He didn't tell me. You know what, what I'm expecting and hoping for. Well, so I have to. So if it's not what what you're expecting, I have to deliver you the bad news. Exactly. <gasps> okay. Are you ready? Never, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, it's nine point four. I don't know if that's a look of disappointment or. That's a extreme look. look of disappointment. Wow. Wow. Hey, Skiff, if you're watching this, now I know exactly how you felt with that John Carter, Mo Warlord of Mars, signed by Miller. What the uh, heck? Family friendly. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, when I was putting on, on the tape upstairs, and then this is really signed. Yes. Yeah, because I said, I'm like, 9.4. I'm like, if that's really signed, I'm like, I have a feeling he'll, he's going to be disappointed. That's signed by the creator of this comic book. What's wrong with it? Are you kidding me? This is extreme disappointment, people. <laughs> <laughs> And for those people that have asked for a drunken unboxing, I think you're getting it at the moment because we definitely are not totally sober. You know, looking at a certain angle, I almost looks it almost looks like a fingerprint mark right here, here, here. If you look at it with the right light, I don't know if I can hold it for you, but right in this spot, it looks like almost like a fingerprint indentation, hmm. which was not there before. But, I mean, these corners are so sharp. The edge is perfect. There are not, there's not one single you indentation. You bought this brand, brand new? I, well, yes, I bought it brand new when it first came out. I think I paid like $11 for it, which is still fine. Yeah. But, really? Really? Is that a color rub there? I mean, that spot there? That There was nothing, nothing wrong with this book. My whole thing at this, what company is this one? CGC. I mean, I don't know how this company works, but when they handle other people's comics, do they put their gloves on to make sure they... Well, this is the first time I've submitted for a signature series. Mm -hmm. So, remember that this is going to come out of all my super unwrappings and go to the person that's going to sign it. It's going to be handled by people. So, and, and it's uh, something is killing the children, number one, from... Boom! Studios. Again, what, what what's the process of their... Not a flinch. This is what I live with, man. I can't have any fun. That's God. because I'm being serious now. Oh, I'm trying to make light of a situation. Anyway, am I disappointed? Yes. Am I... Going to cry over it? No, yes. no, no. Am I disappointed that I had done it? No, no. I'm not... I'm glad I did because, again, I spent $11 on the book, $75 on the signature, and, um, yeah, definitely. If you angle it around so you can see and look right about where my thumb is. Sorry, I'm still looking at Bambi. You, I, <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we need to get Walt Disney to sign well, it. Well, you know what? It is a fingerprint. I'm sure we send in that fingerprint to the um, FBI. We'll Ooh. be able to trace who, who it is. Yes, yeah, but that's a clear fingerprint. And there was nothing on this book. I was so happy, so careful with this book. I'm like, I've never been careful with the book before. Because this was my first submission for a signature. So, anyway. 
And all, uh, seriously, that is that really a signature? A J and a T. Okay, I have a very long last name. I will still give it my best effort to make it look like some kind of a scribble. This is just, boom, boom, next, boom, boom, next. Man, if I could do that all day long and make 45, uh, 45 bucks a signature, I'd be a happy person. Anyway, but I'm still glad I got it. It may become a giveaway at some point. We really don't know. Because, I mean, Skeff, he got he gave away that uh, that um, John Carter, World Order Mars, number one, autographed by Mil uh, was it Miller or Byrne? Miller. And, yeah, he sent in a 9.4 slab book for cleaning and pressing an autograph. It came back at 9.0. <laughs> the look on his face, if you ever watch Skeff's Comic Knowledge, you got to go check out his channel. It's, a, it's an older video from like five months ago. And he had a little notation he put at the bottom, contemplating throwing this book through the window. <laughs> and then he gave away uh, for 1,000 subscribers or 2,000 subscribers. He had a choice of different uh, prizes. And I said, I am lining up for that book. If I win, I want that book because I wanted that memory. So, just thinking about how it helped grow his channel. Uh, you know what's not going to be a big giveaway? What's that? Those two books that I like. The, Dis uh, the Woody Woodpecker and the Bambi? Yep. Well, that's what PCs are for. Personal collections. They don't mm -hmm. ever go away. You might see them at a show. Oh, speaking of shows. To do, to the, uh, Saturday, the 19th, Taylorsville was when I was supposed to do my next street show. And it looks like it's going to be a washout because there's an 80% chance of showers. We're getting the remnants of the tropical storm. And whether or not they call the show, I'm just not going because paper and rain, not a good combination. But anyway, thank you for coming here and seeing my heartbreak because sometimes you see me you get really excited and happy. It wouldn't mean as much as if I didn't get upset. I will definitely check out the graders' notes on this. But they got to see me. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Sooner than, like, what was it, three months? <laughs> yes, but I still have six more submissions at CGC, two at CBCS, getting ready to send another one. And Maybe you'll see more of me. I'm not sure, though. But, well, I'm getting more used to this. She's actually thinking about making her own channel. It's, yes. It'll be the masked woman of YouTube. You'll have no idea who she is. And just like me, you'll have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> yes, I am debating on whether to start a YouTube channel. If you guys have any thoughts whether or not you'd, you think that she should start her channel, throw it in the subscriber, uh, into the comment box. I would really appreciate it. But don't forget, though, we are getting closer and closer. I'm going to wrap this up, okay? Yeah. That's okay. Fine. Oh, fine. Good. We are getting closer to 500 subscribers. Really love to see you, you, that's you, that's you, win this book over here, Venom Annual Number 1, signed by Kate. Which book? The Red Book? The Red Book. Which right we there. decide. Yes, yes. It's hard when you're going backwards, isn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> signed by Kate and Stegman. And all you have to do to do that is to go to my 500 subscriber video, watch the video, click like, leave a comment, make sure you're a subscriber. It's that easy. Make sure the comment is clean. Okay? It's the link right here. It's the one falling on our head. And make sure the comment on is clean. On our head? On our head, because it'll be right up on our head. Okay. Clean and not political, and you'll be entered. Okay? And once I hit 500 subscribers, I pull a random name, and I make a video. You respond, and you win the book. Okay? Thank you so much for joining us. But as always, we're out. Toodles, 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 toodles. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.